Assalamualaikum and good day everyone and welcome to my presentation. I am Siti Fatima Samsurijal. The topic of my presentation today is antibacterial evaluation of bioactive glass polymer condition medium. I have divided the presentation into six parts. The first part is introduction, then in the second part is research objective, methodology, result, conclusion and acknowledgement. Let me start with some general information for the introduction part. Our main focus um, in this project was to develop or fabricate composite film by adding bioactive glass and kytosan to PCL blend. Biocomposite film containing a combination of bioactive glass, PCL and kytosan aim to function as a patch which has potential that will aid wound healing in defective tissue. It can be used externally as a skin patch for skin dehiscence and to facilitate wound healing. In this study, bioactive glass was synthesized using salt gel method. It has nanosized particles and become the most suitable candidate to deliver dedicated ions. Bioactive glass applications have been widely used in several clinical applications, including dentistry, osteogenesis, um, and as mean of ion delivery for antimicrobial effects, regenerative medicine, and tissue engineering. Polymer are currently being used in a wide range of biomedical applications, especially the biodegradable polymeric material with cells interaction in tissue engineering. I would like to give you some background information on three components of this biocomposite film. Uh, BG, Ketosan, and PCL are promising material for a wide range of applications. BG is a type of biomaterial that exhibit biocompatibility, excellent bioactivity, and antibacterial properties. It has been widely applied in bone tissue engineering application for these properties. The exploitation and modification of BG support and improve cell addition, either by itself or when being incorporated into biomaterial, which is offer a great deal of potential to many applications. PCL are biodegradable and biocompatible polyester attracted a lot of attention due to its excellent biocompatibility, good biodegradability, easy handling and control over the biodegradation rate with numerous biomedical applications. Addition of PCL into the composite film patch will add strength and provide structural support for the film. Katosan is a natural polymer, has been studied for drug delivery medical application wound dressing tissue engineering due to its biodegradability, biocompatibility, low toxicity, and antibacterial properties. The addition of katosan will help to enhance biofilm properties for wound healing due to its antimicrobial and structural properties. The aim of this work was to evaluate the antimicrobial effects of different concentration of BGPCL CS condition medium extract against Staphylococcus aureus using broad dilution method for determining the minimal inhibitory concentration. Now let's move to the material and methods of the presentation. Uh, the study methodology is structured as follow. The first part is bioactive glass synthesis. BG powder was prepared via sole gel method with 4-5-S5 formulation. Next, fabrication of biocomposite film include preparation of BG PCLC as suspension, then proceed with blend film fabricated using solvent casting method, which was formulated with certain weight ratios. Then preparation of blend film extract condition medium incubate with LB bros. And finally, minimum inhibitory concentration determination against step aureus by bros dilution method. Bioactive glass was synthesized using sol gel method where the glass fabrication involved mixing of compound and all of this reagent were mixed in nitric acid solution and left to stir until become gel. The mixture were left, uh, was left to stir overnight to achieve gelling state. Uh, the semi-gelation mixture will then be further gel in the oven for three days before the sealed container containing the fully gel mixture is then aged at 60 degrees for two days. Then the mixture is then subjected to 120 degrees for two days before the sample will then be sintered at 60, 600 degrees for one hour. The sole gel BG powder is then grounded and sieved to achieve mean size of less than 50 micron. For fabrication of BG PCL CS film, the composite film was synthesized using solvent casting method. As you can see on the screen, there are four steps involved. The mixture of powder was dissolved in acetic acid after optimization. 
Briefly, BG, CS and PCL were dissolved in 100% acetic acid and still using hot plate sterile. In order to obtain a homogeneous solution, the mixture were dispersed via fornication and then continue with overnight stirring at 700 RPM and then pour inside the PTFE mold and left to dry for 72 hours. Once dry, the patch was removed from the mold and kept inside the desiccator until further there are three stages involved in preparation of condition, condition media to determine the minimum inhibitory, inhibitory concentration of biofilm extract against step aureus. We prepared the blend film extract condition medium. First step, the patch was sterilized by UV exposure for 40 minutes on each side and then incubate with LB bros inside an incubator shaker for 24 hours at 37 degrees followed by sterile filtration and then kept at negative 20. The BGPCLCS condition medium extract was serially diluted until the lowest dose of 0.39 mg per mil. Then step 4 proceed with MIC study with selected dose of prepared film extract against staph aureum. Now a uh, broad dilution method for measuring minimum inhibitory concentration of extract condition medium against the aureus in LB bros. This is 96 well pick template for this study experimental design. The antimicrobial activities were measured in the presence of different concentration of biofilm extract to determine the MIC that inhibit the growth of bacteria. Antibacterial activity was evaluated for step aureus. The final working bacterial concentration of 1 million 1 million colony form unit per meal were used in this study. A total of eight different concentrations of extract were prepared. The positive control were bacteria without addition of film extract. Negative control contained on the LB bros at with 10% DMSO. This well plate was incubated for 24 hours at 37 degrees. The reading were recorded up to 8 hours and after 24 hours of incubation. Now let's move to result and discussion. Have a look at this figure. This is the uh, fabricated composite biofilm, BGPCLCS. Uh, um, the thickness of the composite film is monitored and controlled. The equal volume of blend were cast onto a PTFE dish and dried at room temperature via solvent casting method. It's a low cost method. Also, equal time of exposing the composite in air to remove the remaining solvent and to reach their equilibrium crystallinity. This figure 1 is showing the result of MIC of BGPCLCS condition media extract towards step aureus. If you look at this graph, the red color is negative control is LB bros added with the MSO. The black line as you can see at the bottom of the graph is a positive control which is the step aureus bacteria. We can see from the graph the MIC study revealed the lowest dose of condition media extract at 0.39 mg per mil up to the highest dose at 50 mg per mil had obvious effects on the bacterial growth inhibition. It is demonstrated that bacterial growth were inhibit from the lowest to the highest dose. As you can see, all the concentration tested had obvious effects or significantly decreased and show major decline in bacterial growth compared to the positive growth. But in several doses growth, beside 50 mg per mil, the bacterial numbers keep increasing after 0.1 hours of treatment. When in comparison between doses, it is clearly demonstrated that at concentration of 50 mg per mil, the growth of tap aureus was significantly inhibited, which produced obvious downward trend in bacterial population compared to the other groups. The result obtained from the study shows that BGPCL film have potential bacterial effects against the aureus at the concentration tested, suggesting this condition media film extract has antimicrobial activity supporting the potential for wound healing. According to our study and based on our finding, the findings suggesting that this successfully fabricated BGPCL CS film has antimicrobial activity supporting the potential as a patch for wound healing. Um, for the research is required using other type of bacteria with longer incubation periods to evaluate its effectiveness for biomedical application. Uh, these results are promising for further studies on these biocomposite films and development of wound patch to facilitate wound healing as a soft tissue regeneration and the potential for guided tissue regeneration. 
We would like to thank uh, Ministry of Education Malaysia through PRGS grant. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention.